Welcome to the Renegade Health Boss Podcast, where we push the boundaries of what's possible in health and wellness. I'm your host, Heather Gray, a certified functional diagnostic nutrition practitioner and certified bioenergetic practitioner. And each week we dive deep into the world of physical, mental, spiritual health, biohacking, relationships. But we're not just talking about the basics. I'm bringing you conversations with the true renegades, experts who are challenging the status quo in their fields, breaking barriers, and uncovering the real truth behind what it takes to live an incredible, joy-filled, and optimized life. If you're ready to step out of the ordinary and step into a life of extraordinary health and happiness, you're in the right place. Let's get started on this journey to becoming your own renegade health boss. Welcome, Christian Droppo. Droppo, right? I said it right? That's right. Woo-hoo, That's right. Awesome, Christian Droppo <laughs> from Stenregen to the show. Yay. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. My so, pleasure to be here. So super excited. I met you at Dave Asprey's biohacking event. You were the big star, sponsor of the show, and you've just got an amazing product. I didn't get a chance to actually connect with you at the show. That's why I'm glad to get to know you here. So I would love to start off by telling us a little bit more about who you are, what STEM region, you know, how did you get started? What part of the world you're in? Like, let's be a little bit more on the friendly side. Like, who is Christian? Okay. Well, my background is brain research and neurophysiology. So I, I studied at McGill University. I was working at the uh, Montreal Neurological Institute when I was hired in 1995 to study uh, a supplement, uh, which is Blue Green Algae from Klamath Lake. And it's studying that supplement that basically led to the discovery that stem cells are the repair system of the body and there are plants that can stimulate or support the repair system of the body, just like plants can stimulate the immune system. System. Uh, so it's it's all this research process that led uh, led us led me uh, to develop uh, like dietary supplements or plant extract that supports the innate ability of the body to repair. And whenever I have a chance, I come here. I'm in British Columbia, right by the Rockies. Uh, we have a yurt. Uh, myself and my wife were off grid, and then um, yeah, that's the place of peace. Well, and for those of you who are watching, like his background is absolutely gorgeous. And when we first came on, Melia, his beautiful bay mare was in the background and I wish she would come back. She was so pretty. I love She'll horse, probably come back. <laughs> I love horse medicine too, right? Like there's a, a real something about horses and their magnetic field with their heart that is, it's very, it's calming, it's healing. It's just, uh, it's real medicine, but we're yeah. talking about stem cells today. So you're in British Columbia. What is the accent that I'm hearing? French. Is it French? French okay. Canadian? Yeah. Okay. French Canadian. Okay. Gotcha. 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 For some reason, I didn't quite. I didn't quite get that. Somebody else might have though. Uh, so, how long have you been in Canada? Your whole life? Well, I'm born in Canada, and then yeah. I moved. I was hired by this company in Oregon in 1995. So that's when I moved in the United States. I've been here roughly about half my life, so 30 okay. years. So, so I, I, I mean, I'm sure you can still detect the accent because you asked, but, but I mean, compared to what it was in 1995, it's nothing. <laughs> I bet. I bet. I would love to visit Canada, especially the British Columbia area. I heard it's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Uh, so, but how did you fall into, you know, stem cells and, and especially from blue green, you know, plant stem cells? Because normally when we think of stem cells, right, we think of, mm-hmm. you know, other ways of yeah. stem cells. So how did you get started in that? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if we'll have a time to get into this, but what you're asking here or what you just mentioned into your question to me is is really the biggest topic of all. For most people, stem cells is a treatment. You go somewhere, you get your treatment, you pay for it, you leave. And, and in your mind, the stem cells that really matter in your life, it's the one that you paid like a big price for that you just received. And they're just like a tiny fraction of the stem cells that will really matter in your life, which is your own. And that's the part that is to, for a lot of people, like they don't realize that you have your own stem cells. So how I got into all of this is that I was I was hired in 1995 to study this blue green algae from Klamath Lake. And to so Deshea had just so been so passed. So what is that? You keep saying that word, Klamath Lake? Klamath Lake. So it's a lake in Southern Oregon. So it's a blue green algae that grows naturally in that lake. Uh, It had been used as a dietary supplement since the late uh, 1970s. 
And uh, in 1994, as you all know, the Dietary Supplement Health and Education Act was passed in America. So supplements needed to have science to support the claim that they were making. That's when I was hired by this company to document what were the mechanism of action and the active compound, compounds behind the benefits from this blue-green algae. It's, it's, its name is Afanisomenon plus aqua. So normally people say it's AFA. So in the marketplace, it's known as AFA. So the, the, how, what was the mechanism of action behind the benefits of AFA, which were mainly on inflammation, immune system, and on the brain? So very quickly, we discovered all of this. We documented it, published it. But as I'm doing all this research, I came across people who reversed multiple sclerosis, diabetes, heart disease, emphysema, Parkinson, Alzheimer's, uh, all kinds of problems, which at first it's one case, it's just a story. But over the years, it became, you know, I don't know, 100 cases touching so many different aspects of human health. And from a purely scientific standpoint, the question was, what is this plant doing that is going to affect, in some people, the pancreas, in other people, the heart, in other people, the lung, the brain, the joints, and skin, and so on. So for uh, two, three years, I had no, we had no answers for this until one day I came across an article documenting for the first time to me, stem cells going from the bone marrow to the brain and becoming a brain cell. You have to go back in 2001. Stem cells are only known to be precursors to blood cells. They become lymphocytes, red blood cells, and platelets, and that's it. They don't do anything else. They're, they're, they're known or considered to be like lesser stem cells. And of all organs, the brain does not repair and regenerate. This is what we learned in neuroscience. So now you see a stem cell going to the brain and becoming a brain cell. I thought it was fascinating. So that was before the time when the scientific literature was available on the internet. So I went to the local medical library and I started to look what I could find in the scientific literature. I found another article documenting stem cells going to the liver, becoming liver cells, and another one to the heart, becoming heart cells. So I thought, Go back in 2001, if stem cells can become heart, liver, and brain, why not pancreas, lung, skin, and the rest? Makes no sense that it's only those three. So that means it's just a matter of time for scientists to document that stem cells can become everything. And if they can become everything, they have to be the repair system of the body. How can you have something in the body where a type of cell can convert into all the other types of cells in the body? And it's just like a fluke. Like, it's just like, a thing that you just observe. It has to be by design. So we published an article, my colleague and I, in the journal called Medical Hypotheses, suggesting stem cells are the repair system of the body. And in the back of my mind, what if this blue, this blue green algae, AFA, worked by triggering the release of stem cells from the bone marrow? So making a story short, we acquired the equipment to count stem cells in the blood, and we discovered that that's what it was doing. So that's when everything shifted for me, and I, I, I really dove into stem cell research, and that's what I've done since you know, 2001. That's absolutely incredible. And stem cells are such a hot topic right now. And, and sometimes they can be, it can still be ridiculously controversial, right? Depending on mm -hmm. where they're getting stem cells from. But then we've even got this whole movement, especially in the biohacking field on yeah. like urine therapy and getting your own, you know, stem cells. And so, you know, I find it fascinating and I would much rather get my stem cells from plants than have to deal with my urine. But, you know, I, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> You were at the beginning, before we got on, you were telling me a little bit about Lyme disease and your product. Can you actually go into that story real quick before we take our break? So the, the, the story with Lyme disease is that, and I'm not an expert in that field, we just stumbled on something and we just thought it was fascinating. So we were looking, we, we realized that at some point, as we were studying the effect of this blue-green algae in people with chronic fatigue, uh, with uh, cancer, and uh, and with uh, autoimmune issues, we just realized that in these individuals, we were seeing a, a, a sort of microorganism in their blood. And at first, we didn't understand what it was. We were unable to grow this microorganism, except if we lice all the red blood cells so in a test tube, create like a mega huge white red blood cells, and they would grow in that medium. It's the only way that we could grow this microorganism. So we then, uh, I'm some, and this is 30 years ago, roughly. So I'm summarizing it. But what we did is that we realized we never saw them in healthy people. So we took the plasma from healthy people and put it into the plasma of unhealthy person that had these boogers that you, we used to call them. And, uh, and then we would not see these microorganisms in the blood. They would disappear from the blood and vice versa. 
We would take the plasma of somebody with chronic fatigue, put that with the red blood cells of somebody who is healthy, and then we would see these boogers in the blood. And then at some point we had on camera, one of these boogers coming out of a red blood cells and starting to swim in the blood. So it looked like sparakeets. Okay. And uh, I mean, so we start to look around to ask questions. Anybody else saw that? And we discovered an underground community of scientists worldwide that had made those same kind of observations. Most of them had lost their position as university professor, as researchers. So we, we organized, this was probably 1997, 98, we organized an international conference in Montreal where we had about 30 of these people who traveled from Russia, Ukraine, from everywhere, and were sharing their data. It was fascinating. But to make the story short, these boogers, were associated with Lyme disease. They were pleomorphic microorganism, meaning we had them under camera on a phase contrast microscope, dark feed microscope, going from bacillus to cocci and basically disappearing. And then when you use phase contrast, then it would be back. So basically they were fungus. So they, they would move across species line. And then we had a professor at McGill that had also observed them published a paper in Nature, and then asked Nature to withdraw the paper because he was retiring and it was tarnishing his career. Go understand. But, but, and then I just, dis <laughs> then we I'm discovered- I'm sorry, I just, I'm like, holy shit, Christian, like what you're telling me right now, you should see the size of goosebumps I have on my arm. Like, and this was 30 years ago. It was, it was amazing. And then we discovered the stuff on stem cells. And I just thought, this is bigger than, like bigger than anything else that at the time I could think of. So I stopped, I stopped not by like, I not decided to put it aside, but my time was completely consumed by everything that we did with stem cells. So we never continued that work, but just to say what I did not add into this whole story is that if we would take this blue green algae, either in the person, the person consuming it, or we made a water extract and then we mix it with the blood, these boogers were not seen. So the conclusion of all the work that we had was, and I know that I'm going to say something here that seems a stretch, but the conclusion was that there is a microorganism that is in every single individual. It lives in red blood cells. It seems to, to need iron to grow. So, so it is somewhat synergistic, symbiotic uh, relationship, but there's an immune factor in the, in, the, in the plasma, in the blood, that when that immune factor is there or not there, we don't know what it is, but in a healthy person, uh, in an unhealthy person, that factor is gone. And then these boogers come out of the red blood cells, they are in the blood and they cause health issues. So that's like, that's as far as we went with, with all that work. And then I went into stem cell research. I just love your technical term, boogers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to adopt that. That's awesome. Man, that was incredible. I cannot wait till the second half. Everybody, make sure you stay tuned. We're going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Imagine having an extra hour in your day. With Carol Bike, it's possible in just five minutes. You experience what hours of traditional cardio can't match. Thanks to scientifically engineered AI personalized workouts. It's not about working out longer. It's about working out smarter. Every session is tailored to your fitness level, making it perfect for anyone, regardless of age or ability. Say goodbye to guesswork and hello to precision with workouts that are scientifically proven to boost your health and fitness in 90% less time than regular cardio. Who doesn't want that? Less time working out and still get the amazing benefits? Yes, please. Scientifically proven to reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes by 62%, lower blood pressure by 5% with just three short workouts a week. Feel the benefits of Carol Bike for yourself, risk-free for 100 days. And if it's not for you, return it and get a full refund. Carol Bike is more than a time saver. It's a life enhancer. Make sure to go to carolbike.com, that's C-A-R-O-L bike.com, and use coupon code R-H-B to receive $100 off. Make sure to take the next step in your healing journey with your Carol Bike. When you're facing painful symptoms, a diagnosis of chronic Lyme, or an autoimmune disease, it can be overwhelming to navigate. You already know mainstream medicine doesn't have the tools to support you, and often even alternative medicine can become a maze of options without sustained results. Modern living puts significant stress on our systems. To counter this, we need a holistic approach, utilizing the latest technology and guided by physicians with decades of clinical experience. 
This is biological medicine. The Biomed Center in Scottsdale, Arizona is one of the most comprehensive clinics in the world, incorporating the latest diagnostics available, such as full body MRIs, computer regulation thermography, heart rate variability, toxin screenings, and along with hormone and gut testing, they achieve the broadest look at all systems of the body. Customized protocols are developed by physicians who have treated thousands of patients in chronic disease by optimizing their biological performance. Save yourself years of suffering and searching with a visit to the Biomed Center, Scottsdale. The future of medicine is here. Holy cow, is your mind blown as much as mine is? Like, <laughs> I'm just so freaking excited about this. Like, I mean, anybody who's, you know, working with Dave Asprey is already thinking outside the box. Like they've been doing, I mean, part of the reason why I fell in love with him 15 years ago is because he was talking about Lyme and mold before anybody else was talking about Lyme and mold. You know, so he's always been this kind of pioneer it's, and it sucks because when you become that pioneer, you also get bullseyes on your back, you know, from, from the naysayers, from the critics, which sucks because that really dampens who gets helped. Right. And the information that gets out mm -hmm. there. So that's part of the reason why I do what I do. And, you know, I'm renegade health boss, like let's bring this information out to the masses so that nobody has to struggle with sicknesses anymore. So I'd like for you to dive in deeper. I know we've touched on it quite a bit in the first part, but you know, the, the title of this is unleash your regenerative potential. You know, so what is it about the blue green algae? Is it all blue green algae? Is it the specific kind? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, can you kind of dive into a little bit of the science for us? Well, it's it's that blue green algae. So, and I'm saying this because we we tested spirulina, we did not see it. Uh, there are not that many blue green algae that are that that are edible. So there's a species of nostoc. We never had a chance to study it. So I cannot say it's all blue green algae. We did all the research with this blue green algae AFA from Klamath Lake. Uh, we discovered, so that being the first observation in the scientific world of a plant having an effect on stem cells, the response that we got in 2001 was I mean, a number of them, but but across the board, it was either uh, this is nonsense. Uh, so what? Stem cells, you know, they only become blood cells. So that doesn't mean anything. Uh, well, maybe it's bad for you putting more of these stem cells in the blood. And maybe it's just like a chance observation. Maybe there's no reality to this. If you don't have a, a an active compound and mechanism of action, then this is like worthless. So the next four or five years, really, the, my involvement was to document the mechanism of action, the active compounds, proof of concept, filing patents. So we did all of that. And then after that, I went into documenting or trying to find other plants. If, if this whole thing is real, this is our repair system. Just like you have an immune system, you have a repair system. Uh, and we evolved in symbiosis with the environment. There has to be other plants. So we just flipped the question around. So AFA, we discovered it because it was bringing benefits if it's touching various aspects of human health. So of human health. So the question is, what else is known to be associated with many kinds of health benefits? So you think goji berries, medicinal mushroom, seaweeds, adaptogens. So we tested many of them and we all found an effect on stem cells. And then we, I tra started to travel to remote areas of, areas of the of the globe. Let's say you go, to, you go to Madagascar. They don't have medicinal mushroom from China, goji berry, but they have something from Madagascar. So we were able to find one specific species of aloe in Madagascar called aloe macroclada that right now is giving us the strongest response. We have seen sea buckthorn berry from the Tibetan plateau, seaweeds from Patagonia. So now we have many plants that... They, it's not that they contain stem cells. They contain extracts that trigger the release of our own stem cells. So that's kind of the link between stem cells here and, and plants and the work that we have done. Okay. So when you talk about that, it comes from the Klamath Lake. So how sustainable is it? Or is it something that you're able to reproduce in other environments? <clears throat> like what Good question. Uh, actually, fascinating question to which there is some attempts to an answer, but it's it's not fully known. So AFA, that species, grows almost like everywhere in the world. Like it could be in a puddle in front of your house. However, the quantity of it is so small that you cannot really harvest it. Uh, I remember walking with a biologist a few years ago saying, you look, AFA is everywhere. Look, it's right there in the lake. And I say, where? Right there. And you point with your finger and suddenly you see a little filament in the water. In Klamath Lake, the, the, the myth, I don't, I'm not telling you it's true. But when you look at it, you would think that it can be true. It was said that at times they saw foxes 
running on the water to go to the island because it, the, the mat of blue green algae is so thick. So it is, you run with your boat and the water behind you, it's like you're running on pea soup. It's like completely green. So the density of it is such that you can go with a screen, just scoop it and do large scale harvest. You can harvest, I don't know, seven tons of blue green algae in a day just by screening it from the surface of the lake. So the quantity that you find in Klamath Lake and coupled with the fact that it's a monoculture, like you don't have other types of blue-green algae that can be toxic, uh, which you can find in other lakes. So Clear Lake in California has huge bloom of AFA, but it's combined with other species that would make that supplement basically toxic. It could kill you. So, so, so AFA, Klamath Lake is very unique in both being a monoculture and at the same time having a mass production. Many, many, many labs have tried to duplicate this and grow it in controlled ponds. And so far, nobody has been successful to grow it. There's something about Klamath Lake that is very unique. <clears throat> I surmise that it's the water because I've there's some aspects that are confidential. I can't kind of kind of go into it, but but the water is very unique. The budget of the water in Klamath Lake. 90% of the water, we don't know where it's coming from. And when I say we don't know where it's coming from is that in the winter, the whole lake would fray, freeze, except from one area about 60, 60 feet diameter where it does not freeze. And in the summer, if you go over that area with your boat, you have the engine going like, wah, wah, wah. so the water is a different density in that area. And it, there's a vent in the bottom of the lake and nobody has found the bottom of that vent. And, uh, and it's hot water. So, and then, so the, and then if you follow the rivers that, that come into Klamath Lake, there's two, three rivers that dump their water and you walk them up at the head of the river, it starts right there. You, the forest is on one side, the river is on the other side and it bubbles from the ground. If you take a sample of that water, it has pH eight, four degrees centigrade. So just above freezing point and it has no mineral. So it, it is like a, technically it's a restructured water like the Hunza water. So, so, and that's the, the water that flows into Klamath Lake where you have this amazing abundance of this blue green algae. So it's kind of a, almost like a mythical story of how this product is growing. You gave me goosebumps again, <laughs> that's twice in one show. Like, I don't think that's happened. That is absolutely fascinating. I just, hmm. I can't get over. So I love, love hearing like firsthand testimonials. You've been doing this a while. So tell us some of your like greatest, you know, testimonials that you've heard from people using the product. Some of these stories would be literally unbelievable. So, so let me keep it in the realm of what's sort of believable and the, the, the things for which I can provide actual evidence. So I published an article probably about by now 10 years ago where we could show that by using these plants uh, that simply trigger the release of a person's own stem cells, we have cases of severe heart disease that were reversed. Like somebody on a heart transplant list waiting for a heart with 13% ejection fraction. And within a matter of a month or two, he was back with a normal heart for a 65 year old. In that article, we documented cases. And these are cases for which we were able to obtain all the medical record and then be able to, and I gave that to a team of doctors. One was a, a board forensic, uh, uh, board forensic uh, pathologist uh, examiner. So he analyzed all the data and we have basically published the evidence of a reversal from heart disease, severe Parkinson, kidney failure, uh, stroke, one year after having the stroke, somebody completely reversed, uh, diabetes, insulin-dependent diabetes that reversed. So we've published these cases. Out of these cases, we then started to do clinical trials. So we are in clinical trials right now with a blend of these plants. Uh, and that trial is ongoing with congestive heart failure. So these are people with at least two years of stable congestive heart failure. So typically it's somebody that would climb one flight of stairs and then would have to stop, sit down and catch their breath. Uh, so we put them on this product for six months, six months after. So far we have 10 uh, participants that went through the process. 10 out of 10 have normal heart function. We have started one on Parkinson. We are, it's ongoing. So we only have, I think, four patients now that have gone to the first initial three months. And out of those three months, we have 50% reduction in motor symptoms of Parkinson, 36% reduction in depression measured with the Beck's, uh, Beck uh, scale for depression, and then 56% improvement on 
quality of life measured with SF36 questionnaire. The, the study is continuing. We are starting based on the, 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 the results that we have seen over the years. We are now preparing a study for colitis, COPD, emphysema, and one for, uh, one for uh, liver failure or li let's say fibrosis, hepatitis B. So these are these are those that we're focusing it right now. But if I if I take a step back from this, the, the the easy thing to understand is that every single degenerative or age related disease is caused by the loss of a type of cell. All these type of cells can emerge from a stem cell. Not only they can, but they do it every day. You're born. The, from the day you're born, you start losing cells. It's your stem cells that replace these cells that are being lost. Your body is constantly in the process of tissue turnover. You have a new skin every month, a new liver two, three years, uh, half of a new heart every 25 years. But does that That's mean what... that you're really at like 150 years old, Christian? I'm 92, actually. Oh, my gosh. Uh, but no, no, it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> you almost had me there. I was like, dang, <laughs> <laughs> but the point is that everything is in a process of turnover. The problem is that the red marrow that makes stem cells quickly converts into yellow marrow that does not make stem cells. By age 30, you've lost 90% of your, your red marrow. And in our 30s, it's when you discover, gee, I'm no longer Superman. Or there are things that are there in my body that don't heal as fast as they used to, or they start to be lingering. That's because the repair power is really not as strong including to this is our ability to offset cellular loss. So we start in our 30s now to accumulate a tissue deficit that shows up as age-related diseases. So everything is caused by an ongoing growing deficiency in stem cells as we age. So it's all, it's, so it's make it very simple. The moment you put more stem cells in circulation, your body will use it to basically help your, your body repair, those tissue repair. And then obviously those organs can start functioning better. I mean, it's really simple. Christian, oh my God, <laughs> holy, my mind is just blown. Like I knew, I knew I didn't want to try to do this interview at the show because there was just so much going on and the distractions. And I just really wanted to be present with you because I knew you were a powerhouse. Like I, I just had no idea how amazing and truly incredible you and your company are and the things that you're doing in the world for people with chronic illness, you know, and, and the suffering is just disgusting. And I just, I can't say thank you enough. Um, I know I'll have a uh, affiliate link in the show code for people to come yeah. check things out, but where else can they find out information about the product? I mean, our website is stemregen.co, stemregen.co. So there'll be all the information about the product and blogs and articles and everything that really explains uh, the science behind the product. Uh, I have, uh, I'm fairly active on TikTok, on Instagram, stem cell Christian. I assume people could not spell drapeau probably. So uh, stem cell Christian. And I, I, I post there a lot, you know, answering questions from people about stem cells and other topics. I have a, um, a decades also in sort of uh, herb, herbal medicine. So, so I share a lot of stuff on herbal medicine as well. Oh my gosh. I, how am I not following you already? Like that's the first thing I'm going to do when we get done, you're going to have a new fangirl. Um, but again, thank you so much for joining me thank today. You. Thank you so much for everything that you're doing in the world. Everybody make sure to stay tuned for the next episode and have a healthy day. Thanks again. And as always, if you were inspired by anything that you heard on today's show, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. That's the only way that we help change people's lives and get this information out into the world so that change can begin one person at a time, the way that it did with me and changed my life so many years ago. Make sure too, right, if you really want to start changing your life, it starts with your diet. It starts with what's on the end of your fork. And if you want to start making changes, go to my website, www.renegadehealthboss, R-E-N-E, G-A-D-E health, H-E-A-L-T-H-B-O-S-S dot com and download, download your free ebook, your free cooking guide, real cooking to real life. And in there, you'll also find links to the videos. Don't just learn what to eat, but why, right? Don't just learn how to cook, but the reasonings behind I, why I use some of the tools that I do, the toxins, you've got to lower your toxic burden. And we can do that in the kitchen and with what you eat. So make sure that you pick up that free resource. It's amazing. And while we're at it, we got to do a little disclaimer. Anything that you hear on this show is for entertainment value only. You cannot hold Heather Gray, the Lime Boss, 
Discovering Health LLC or Renegade Health Boss liable for any damages that may have occurred while you have tried something that you've heard on the show. This show also contains affiliate sponsorship and paid advertising, just a heads up. But to also know that no advertising gets on here without my approval first. It's usually products that I have tried and have my stamp of approval on it. So never fear when it comes to that. Um, But yes, cannot hold me liable. Do not, you know, this is for educational purposes only. Please make sure that you talk to your doctor before making any medical changes. And God bless. Stay tuned.